In this video, I'm gonna cover seven different tips to help you pass the MyForex funds or FTMO challenge or whatever prop firm you may be taking. And this isn't just me pulling this out of the hat. This is actually real statistics that was proven and actually on the MyForex Funds website at one point. Now I had to go back through the archives because it's no longer on their website, but these were the statistics and these were the commonalities among what is happening with the successful traders that are actually passing challenges, getting funded and ultimately making withdrawals. Now, the data was on their website, and I think the reason it's no longer on their website is because the data was really, really poor. The success rate was really, really low. Only 31% of people actually passed phase one of the challenge, and only 14% of people actually passed phase two of the challenge, which gives us a funded rate of, I believe, just over 4%, which is really, really sad to see. And the amount of people that actually got a payout was even worse than that. However, there was one useful section on this old archives section of their website website that basically showed what are the seven or eight commonalities amongst the most successful Forex traders at these different prop firms. Oh, and by the way, if you'd like us to just pass a prop firm challenge for you and you'd like to trade live with a 15 time funded professional prop trader every morning, then go to fundedtraderfasttrack.com. Okay, so the first thing that was noticed amongst the most successful traders that were actually getting withdrawals was it said that Again, all of this verbatim on their website. 60% of traders do not use a stop loss and have a very high risk of ruin. So if you want to have uh, more success, then make sure that you're using a stop loss and you keep your risk of ruin lower. The second thing that they found out was that the traders who have made it to their fourth pay cycle, meaning they've received four different payouts, all have a risk management strategy of below 3% risk on any given day. So I know that uh, after talking to some of the most successful professional prop traders, I know a lot of them stick to this rule where they will not risk more than 3% a day. And if they do, you know, say lose 3% a day, then they're done. They call it quits for the day, they get away from the screens and they come back at it with a fresh set of eyes tomorrow. Number three, which was interesting, it says that the most profitable traders are in the market for less than four hours per day. So that means that most of the profitable funded traders and traders getting withdrawals are really using some sort of scalping strategy where they're in the market for less than four hours per day. Number four, which was also interesting, was it said that the most profitable traders do not hold trades overnight. So once again, this means that they're scalping. They're on lower time frames that are that they're trading on and they're not waking up to trades and going to bed thinking about trades that are open. Number five, a trader who holds trades over the weekend has a 60% chance of failing or losing their account. So this just again goes to show you that the, the most profitable traders, they're in and out of the market quickly. They're not holding trades overnight. And they're also definitely not holding trades over the weekend because as you know, once the week starts again, you can get uh, really bad slippage or you can have uh, really bad gaps right when the market opens. So the most profitable traders are not holding trades over the weekend even if a prop firm says that you're allowed to. Number six, it said that when the market is more volatile, more traders fail because a lack of risk management discipline. If volatility is prolonged, it's a bloodbath of epic proportions. That's literally word for word what it said on their website. It's a bloodbath of epic proportions. So when the market does get volatile, you need to make sure that you have proper risk management in place, right? Which goes into, you know, never having more than 3% risk on the table for any day and always making sure to use a stop loss like we talked about previously in the video. Number seven, all of them trade conservatively and make sure they get paid. None of them risk more than 2% per trading day and they stop when they have reached 4 to 8% in profit until the pay cycle has ended. So this was a little bit confusing to me because previously it said no more than 3% and then it said here that it said that they don't risk more than 2% in a trading day and also it says that they stop when they've made 4 to 8% in withdrawals, which I think is really smart to do. You know, a lot of these companies have these uh, like, you know, scaling plans where if you just keep your, pro you know, profits in there, you can scale with them. This is a disaster. I mean, I think it's a horrible thing to try to do. Uh, granted, with the risk involved with prop firms and the 
the the sad statistics among people that actually get payouts. I think it's a horrible, horrible idea to try to scale with these prop firms. And I also thought it made sense that they're only going for once they get four to 8%. Uh, this is also what I've noticed with Yuya, who's coaches people that are in the Funded Trader Fast Track program that's been uh, funded more than 15 times. I know that he always goes for somewhere between four and 8% on his funded accounts as well. And I think that also, you know, prop firms, you're kind of at their mercy, right? They can make up stuff and, you know, they can decide to give you a withdrawal or decide to not. But if you're keeping it within four to 8% and you're not running up 20 or 30%, because if you do, right, then this is a lot more risk for them that they have to pay you out. So this is an expense on their end, meaning they're losing money. So I think that if you do go for those bigger uh, percentages, 10%, 15%, 20%, uh, then this is a red flag. They're definitely going to look into your account because they don't want to pay it out. Whereas if you're just going for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight percent 8%, then the chances of them actually going in and looking into your account is probably relatively small. Granted that they have to pay out lots of people, uh, especially these bigger prop firms. So I thought this was a really, really good rule of thumb. And number eight, which was really interesting, this is a bonus round. I know I said seven, but number eight says that all traders who received a record payout lost their account within three weeks of their record payout. So what does that mean? It means that when somebody goes on, they get their biggest payout ever. Uh, basically what happens next within three weeks, they blow their account. And what does this actually mean? Well, this means that people are getting greedy. They see their system working. They got a record payout. Their emotions are on high. They're greedy and they likely increase their lot size or increase their risk or stop trading with the rules that got them to this point. And in all cases, they ended up blowing their account within three weeks. Hey, if this video is helpful, like and subscribe so you don't miss any other helpful content. And also, if you'd like to learn the volume reaction trading strategy of a 15-time funded professional prop trader, then check out the video on the screen right now.